on the month of September is recognized as Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Yeah, here locally, survivors and advocates are set to come together with Knox County leaders tomorrow morning during an event planned at Concord United Methodist Church to address the issue that impacts so many people. Six on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel speaking to a Knoxville woman who sadly has a personal connection to suicide. So Elizabeth, what does tomorrow's event really mean to her? Well, Kristen, she said it's her chance to publicly spread the word about how important suicide prevention is. She lost her husband around this time four years ago and has become an advocate in the years since. To increase the knowledge in our community, for our community to rally behind people and know that they're supported, know that they're cared for, know that they're loved, and most importantly, know that they're not alone. Those are Emily Hager's goals for Tuesday, a suicide prevention awareness event happening in the morning. She's the MC and has a personal connection to the subject. Her previous husband took his own life. You never think that somebody's going to take that extreme action. Um, and that was the case for me. Like, I never would have thought that he would take an action like that. Ed Janad also knows the topic well. He teaches suicide prevention classes, encouraging people to ask friends or loved ones if they're feeling suicidal and to be on the lookout for some key signs. Loss of uh, relationships is a known one. Financial, being a burden. Uh, feeling guilty about things. Those who have struggled through that loss, like Emily, now using her story to spread a message of hope. She's remarried and has a family. What I like to tell people with my story now is that there is hope and there is life after the loss of a loved one. There is life. You can have a good, happy life afterwards. There is restoration after you have a loss. Now, she is also looking forward to tomorrow's suicide prevention awareness event, particularly standing alongside Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs as he announces a suicide prevention proclamation. That event taking place at Concord United Methodist Church at 10 in the morning. Kristen. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much. And always an important resource to pass along to everyone, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline number. Yeah, we do have that number for you. It's 1-800-273-8255. If you or anyone else you know needs help, you can also call the Helen Ross McNabb Center locally at 865-539-2409.